guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Amplified server. Do you see the little, uh, the red outline above my eyes? I got a skin, a different skin on today. Let me show y'all right quick. So this is my survivalist skin, which uh, I've been playing a new modded pack called Minecraft Da Vinci that was put together by Jotato and uh, my friend XB Crafted. And basically it's like an experimental pack that we're going to keep rotating mods for every few months so this is the skin we're in our first few days of survival so i figured i would put on my old survivalist skin um but anyway kind of like a tattered clothing thing i've been playing a lot around a lot with skins lately due to the fact that uh let me see the best way to get over here i need to get to uh that area my golf course area um we had i had a basketball skin on the other day because we were playing on the live stream hermitcraft uh, the hermitcraft live stream weekend even and uh, if you guys joined us for that, thank y'all so much. The first day I played Victor Vron, and then we did a group event with uh, some hermits and some guests. Python GB came, and Cube Hamster was there. Uh, I think Finno was there. We had a lot, a lot of fun. And we ended up playing some Missile Wars and some Ice Runners, and it was a good time. And then, the day after that, I joined in for a, uh, a golf course and Hermit Thrills type event that was uh, invaded by Biffa2001 which came and slaughtered us mercilessly on the basketball court when we were wearing just our shorts. Uh, that sucker. We're going to have to pay him back sooner or later. Um, but yeah, we had a good old time, guys. It was a lot, a lot of fun. Thank you all so much for, for coming out and helping us out. Today, I'm going to be working a little bit on the... Um, oh, let me through the door. Uh, the golf course. There's a couple things that I've been wanting to try. And I've started playing around with a little design up here. So pardon my progress. By the way, if I do sound different, it's because I'm using a new recording software today. So you guys make sure to let me know if it sounds terrible or if it sounds good. Um, I'm not going to reveal what it is yet because uh, I don't want to give any um, proper shouts out or get any hate for <laughs> any kind of specific uh, thing, uh, recording software. But at any rate, uh, I'm going to be trying it. And I did order my new computer for those of you that are interested. Um, I'll be going over the list sometime soon once I get it in. I'll I'll probably do a little, um, not an unboxing, but you know, one of those setup tour video type things. Anyway, uh, what I'm thinking for the outside here is I'm going to put some fence. This is going to be like a little pagoda area, right? And we're going to do a few birch slabs just like this. And I'm thinking that instead of the post right here, we might just come up and do... Hmm. I don't know if I like it like this or not. I wanted this to be kind of like a fence. You know what we need in Minecraft? Seriously? Fence, sandstone fences. That's one of the other things we need in Minecraft. I know I list something almost every other day, but uh, I think I want to use sandstone slabs for this. And this pagoda area is going to be like just something small uh, that protects the stairway, so to speak. So it's going to be like an open feel. I don't even know if I'm going to glass it in, but let's see if I can do this. There we go. Um, and it's just going to be to go on top of the current... Will I not be able to place this like that? Oh, now, what is going on, Minecraft? You always let me do stuff like this, and today you're not going to let me do it. And I can't get up right there. I suppose I could just do it the old-fashioned way. Well, maybe not even that. Place on the... De Thank you. Jeez, man, Minecraft. Why so picky? Anyway... So, I think I'm going to go and spread it around. It's probably going to go out one, two, three, four, five. And that is going to put me, what, right here? Hmm. And that's actually six. Uh, actually, that's seven. I don't think I need to do seven. I think six is probably the maximum that I need to do for this area. So, let's do the sandstone right here. And we'll do the sandstone right. Well, actually, is it right there? Right there. It should be on the corner. And honestly, these should be some of these smooth ones because smooth is more smooth. It should represent like a corner block right here. I think that's the way I want to go at least. Corner, corner. And we'll have to get one more down below. But I'd just like to get it hammered out for now. Um, or, you know what? I could just do one... Uh, set a smooth right quick There we go, okay pop 
I'm gonna need to fix my pick soon too. I know you guys are probably like, man, it's about to break. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, it's just a work pick anyway. Um, I think I got my NBT tags on too. Yeah, 266 uses left. So I got plenty enough to finish this golf course. But anyway, the live stream weekend was really, really fun, guys. I, I really, really enjoyed hanging out. And um, I wanna, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to really, really enjoy streaming. And I'd like to do more of it but not more in a schedule type format but just more when i do stream so i think i'm actually planning out to do one of my favorite channels his name's northern lion he does a lot of binding of isaac which i don't do on my channel because it's got some risque connotations but i really do enjoy uh northern lion's commentary style and um and in general his channel altogether and um, he does a, a format for his live streaming called the Northern Line Super Show. And I think it's a really good format because typically he plays two or three games uh, when he does uh, play it. And um, it's like this little, it's pretty much like Binding of Isaac, is, which is his main series every day. And then he does like another couple of, um, another couple of episodes or another couple of games that last a little while. And then... Uh, that's it. So I think I might do the first two hours, which is my normal stream length. I don't know what I'm, I'm struggling to figure out what to put here. I think I might just put fence here. Um, he does. He, I do always two hours of Minecraft, usually Hermitcraft. But I think what I'm going to do is maybe set, maybe do two hours of Minecraft and one hour of like another game. You know, whatever I happen to be playing. So uh, that might be a thing in upcoming, so <laughs> stay tuned for that. I'm not sure how we're going to do this yet. Okay, so now we're going to need stairs that come down from here. And the weird thing is that this kind of goes along... Hmm. This is going to be weird because... I mean, it could go right here, but that's going to kind of mess with that design. I think what I might do... Gosh, man. This is just a really, really bad area for it. I think maybe we're not going to go in from the top like I originally planned. I know, it's just one of those things. I mean, I could do a little walkway here, but honestly, I don't think it's going to look that good. Um, we could do a little bridge, possibly. I don't want anything to come out from the front, like a little balcony area on the top. Although I could, but it's, I don't know, it's just going to look weird. I think I'm just going to seal it in. I know I'm kind of rambling right now, but I'm caffeinated. What do you expect? Okay, let's surround this total. And we're going to do the little bar up here. And we're going to have to do some more of the... Actually, I think I might be able to use these fences because this back wall is going to be uh, an actual wall. Because this is going to be where the bar is going to sit. So we'll go like this. Okay. And that is going to be the area right here. Now, I need to, I need to decide whether I'm going to go with a little top or not. I think I want to do... Just another little top made with uh, made with birch. So let's see if I put birch in the middle here, like this, and I'll fill that in with birch and actually go. I don't know whether I should go one higher or not. I want it to look like part of the like you know with the existing structure, and that's the colors that we're going for. Let's. Let's craft a little bit more birch down here. What do I have? Do I have my uh, crafting bench on me? No. I should have a crafting bench down here. And I'll do just a few more birch panels. I'm not too sure if I'm going to come up with them. You know, one level higher. But we'll try it. Uh, let's see. Okay. So this is going to be kind of the same pattern as we have like the walls on the outside because it's sandstone trim with kind of like a, the walls are birch you know and it'll be some floor type deals too and what we can do is possibly a light here but I think if we just added a yeah I think that gives it a little bit of of uniqueness I, I want it just to look a little bit different you always go up so maybe that as down. I don't know. <laughs> I'll try it. Anyway, this back wall needs to get set up too. So I think what I'm going to do instead of worrying about the the wall first itself, let's let's worry about the trim. So 
we're gonna do I guess we'll do a few more of the smooth and we'll come up by one two three let's do four on each side and I'm gonna need a sleep and then we'll fill that in with the birch as well and kind of make um, a, like a canopy kind of like this section but this I want this to be open because this is gonna be like patio furniture so let's take a sleep I'm gonna do this back wall um, maybe make a little ceiling for it and we'll be right back for furniture all right guys so I got the majority of the top done as far as design choices go uh, let me put some of my golf balls back too that I noticed I had I'm gonna have to put my fappers up did, I'm not sure, I don't remember if I showed you guys all of the different ball names that I came up with, but Eagle Egg is temporary, and so, these are Ice Ice Babies, Amaze Balls, Great Balls of Fire, Fappers, Family Jewels, Chocolate Salty Balls, and Trippin' Balls. Those are all the balls that I came up with from, um, from live stream ideas and stuff and, and all the participants in there. So this is the design I tried to go with for the top. And I figured I would go with like the split level. So this is a little bit lower than this. And this is the more permanent structure where the bar area is going to be. But I chose to do a little lighting setup right here. And this is this looks like it's the same height, but it's kind of like an optical illusion. I kind of like it like that. The only thing I don't like about this is that I really couldn't go with the birch post right here because the rest of this was um, the sandstone and I tried to go with the birch post here but it just didn't look right and I did the joints with the stairs so it's a little bit better I do like it this way now we need to put a little bit of furniture on here and a couple more aesthetic things so if I take the cauldron that I made here just bear with me for a moment while I get all of my stuff situated I'll put the cauldron right here this is going to be um, so to speak the sink for the uh, and Biffle was in here uh, this is going to be the sink for lack of better words for it and I think we can do maybe like a sandstone deal right here and just place a lever let's do a lever right here and no he's not after me this time <laughs> he said I was proper to let's see how he said that um, he said, how's my head? And I said, vengeful. He said, sorry, you and X were collateral damage. Once blows started flying, it was a blur. <laughs> so uh, he's he was just being silly. But anyway, no hard feelings about that at all, Biff, old boy. But your time will be coming. So just uh, <laughs> stay tuned for that when you least expect it. I'm not going to do it when you're ready or anything. I'm going to kill you in your drawers like you killed me. Anyway let's get this show on the road so I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of decorations here um, I think if I go with something simple like a couple of water bottles on the back side uh, in some item frames it should be good and a little plant feature should be nice I don't know if I like the way that goes right there maybe I'm actually gonna take that away and if I would put that lever right here instead Hmm. I think I might just put the lever on the back wall actually so we'll have to put I did I do have some bottles I think I can't use that bucket on the water again but I think I do have some bottles oh no you know what I have I have glass to make bottles okay let's see here let me get my handy dandy crafting table out and we'll do three bottles and I don't know if we can put it back in but we'll take we need these bottles anyway right and this will be like two little signs for beverages and we'll take the cauldron and put it on the back wall in the corner like so and we'll put the lever there there we go and that's gonna be where the water is and no I cannot use it on that so I'm gonna have to actually fill the bucket up to put this thing full of water that's okay too alright we're also gonna need some sort of bar topping and I think I'm gonna do that with brown but let's do the tables first I'd like to do a few cocktail tables and I think I'm gonna do them by using oak wood stairs since they're a little bit different colored uh, they'll be the same color as the bar so let's do we're not gonna do any 
This is going to be a walk-up bar, so we're not going to do any bar stools because they kind of look funny against the one high bar. And I'd rather just do a couple cocktail tables. So we'll do a cocktail table here. We'll do a cocktail table here. And we'll do a cocktail table, I guess, right here. And that should be... Oh, that's kind of weird. Oh, I see what I did now. I went one, two, four up. Okay, there we go. So there's a few different cocktail tables, and I can do white glass here. And it doesn't stick to the stairs, so it's a good little table stand. And then we can do the brown carpet on top of these to make it kind of like little cocktail tables. And I think that works out good. The only thing we could do that would make it a little bit nicer is to put some item frames on the outside. But honestly, I don't have enough item frames with me to do that. So that's all right. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for that, except for a little bit of brown carpet. We'll need to make, I guess we'll top the bar with brown carpet. I thought about doing like the red sandstone thing, but I think that's just going to be too many colors and it's going to be a little bit too busy. So let's see if I did. And it'll be a nice contrast from the oak anyway. Uh, I know I had some more. There's my brown wool. Uh, six should be plenty. The only thing I do regret is not having a stairway that comes down directly from the bore area. But that's okay. They're going to make you pass through the gift shop. I am going to need to figure out how to get up and down right here though. So I'm probably going to do a little stairway or something there. Um, but before that, um, we'll need to do some Patreon banners. Because it's been a little while since I've done any. So let's see here. One, two, perfect. That's a nice little bore area if I do say so myself. I really do like that so it's coming together pretty well I'll have to add a little bit of lighting which I'm not too sure how I'm gonna do that yet I might just do a couple of light stands here and there or I could just do some torches well I can't do torches on top of these tables maybe I'll just do a little corner light right here and some other stuff we'll see how the lighting works out but I can't be bothered with that right yet uh, what I'd like to do is go to the patreon tower and do three patreon banners for the day and that's going to wrap up the episode I'm I believe I'm, I'm I'm really happy on the progress that we making so far just a couple little decoration things and some lighting things let's see how it looks from the outside yeah that looks really really good okay cool well I'm gonna get started on the patreon banners you guys I'll meet you in the tower all right you guys we're back in the patreon tower to do some patreon banners and today we're going to do lone Bigfoot Mashumi and crux 702 so i did have to skip over a banner today for mike 4898 mike you have a wither skull in your uh banner and that's okay but <laughs> it's going to take me a little while to get one so i haven't i haven't had the chance to form any wither skulls and i need to go do that just for banner preparation so anyway uh we're gonna start off with lone bigfoot He's relatively new to Patreon, but he's a really active member in the community, and uh, guy's been doing some great things on the server. So, uh, let's see. We're going to do... He starts off with a white banner, and then goes into gray down the middle like this, as far as the gray stripe. And then gray above that to make it the opposite stripe here. Then all the way around with red. And four let's see i think it's oh no five blacks is that the sound of a um what you call a guardian that kind of sounded like a guardian i hope there's no guardians around here that i can't see maybe there's one in the water outside or something okay and an oxy daisy right here and that ought to do it cool that's lone bigfoots okay next up is my buddy mashumi mashumi is one of the admins on my server and um guy's been with me for a long time thank you for everything that you do mashumi let me see here four ink sacks on the sides of the red to make it the striped color and then uh, we have five greens like this the lime greens which i have plenty of from the golf course and then also five greens uh, but in this cross pattern just like this so we have like the green ostrich We'll come around with rose red, and I think last but not least is, oh no, there's two things left, vine. So the vine will do that, and then 
the yellow and an oxy daisy which i forgot i think i have another oxy daisy yeah i have a few okay so we'll go with the banner yellow and oxy daisy just like so bam there's mashumis and next up is crux crux starts off with a black banner and with some red on the side i believe it's just like this yep and then black around so ink sack just like this to make the border and that cuts off the little top and the bottom from that red stripe that's what that does um the rose red like this which makes the x so it's kind of like a kx now i see where we going with this crux um oxy daisy down below that makes that little portion in the middle then we've got three ink sacks like so and three ink sacks at the top as well and i think that's right yep there we go okay let me go up to the top and we're on the second floor now the banners are looking really good this is all the patreon banners up until this point and um man <laughs> it's looking so decorative i love all the style to it like there's no way i could have invented all these different banner designs my own pretty cool all right so here we go let's take a few of these out of the inventory here and we'll go with them in this order so lone bigfoot is first and then mashumi and then crux very good thank you guys so much for the patronage this month uh uh right quick before we stop the video just something to address there's been a few people that have contacted me about the patreon whitelist the whitelist is no longer open that's not to say it will not be open in the future but i have to reevaluate spacing and stuff like that and really look into um maybe opening up some more slots in the future but as far as now it is closed when i do open it back up it will be for a higher premium to prevent griefing and stuff which we've had some issues on in the past so thank you guys so much for your input your support your patronage i hope you enjoy the video next time we come back we'll finish up decorating on the golf course i think and maybe get ourselves into some new adventures so thanks so much for watching as always this is zuljin signing off and we'll see you next time bye